Another, another huge game. Another battle of uh, two teams in my top 10 in my power rankings. Massive game for both teams, in my opinion. Kansas City, according to Bavada, plus three at the New England Patriots. Um, I am surprised that Kansas City wasn't favored in this game. I know they're in Foxborough, but basically the momentum of the betting public, what we're seeing, all the press about the, the, you know, the death of the New England Patriots offense, I was surprised that uh, the line didn't open up like Kansas City minus one or something like that. And I was all ready to pounce on the, the New England Patriots because the Patriots always play just a little bit better when they're not favored. Uh, they also play better, by the way, coming off a loss. Um, now Brad's going to take New England. My computers take New England. I like Kansas City in this game coming off a bye week. Here's my issue. Um, you know, I'll, I'll give you the, the basically the, the thought for both teams. Uh, Kansas City, they can't run the ball, and the Patriots defense is really, really good. In fact, let me tell you about the Kansas City offense. They're scoring 29 points, good enough for third in the league. That includes three games, meanwhile, where uh, Patrick Mahomes has been out. Uh, the new, they've, uh, they're giving up 22.1 points per, league, uh, per game, good enough for 16th. Now, the Patriots are scoring 26 points per game, which is higher than you'd think, but they're also being aided by that defense and special teams. Um, they're giving up 12.1 points per game. That's ridiculously low, good enough for first in the league. So it's easy um, as an NFL fan to, to ignore a defense, um, you know, and what they're doing and the impact that they'll have on the game. But the New England Patriots are very good. Are they very good because Tom Brady is going to throw for 50 touchdowns? No, they're very good because their defense and special teams comes up huge week after week. And you can't say, you know, block punts or lucky and all that. They just do what they need to do to win. Um, they do that week in and week out. Why I like Kansas City is because I believe that the Patriots, you know, Gilmore is, is a fantastic cornerback, and he can lock down a team's top receiver. Well, Kansas City has about four receivers that can get behind the defense. Um, will Gilmore be locked up on Tyreek Hill? Yes. But Andy Reid is a good enough head coach to figure out a way to – you know, if they can't get uh, Tyreek Hill open against a guy like Gilmore, maybe get him out in space or in a matchup somewhere else. He's going to be good with that. Um, you know, a guy like Sammy Watkins on the other side, is he an all-pro? No, I don't think so, but he's certainly serviceable enough to win matchups from time to time. You have uh, other guys, you know, we've seen what Demarcus Robinson, we've seen what uh, McCall Hardman, we've seen what other guys can do in this offense. And it's like every time somebody steps, you know, uh, gets injured, you get a guy like Pringle stepping up, you know, all these other ones. So there's like an endless supply of wide receivers, but Kansas City needs to run the ball. They cannot be one-dimensional, I don't believe, against the uh, the New England Patriots. Now, on the other hand, New England, a couple things I like about them. Um, they have been running the ball a little bit better as of late. Kansas City will give up yardage in the running game. I liked what I saw from, uh, honestly, both Sonny Michelle, even though he didn't have a statistically dominant game, I liked what I saw from him, and I liked what I saw from, uh, from certainly James White last week against Houston. I think um, this team will be able to run the ball. I like what I'm seeing from Jacoby Myers. Could he step up and be that second receiver? receiver. Uh, Julian Edelman's good every week, but, you know, basically the loss of Gronkowski, it, it goes back to what I've been saying about the Packers and about, you know, even Houston when they had Wolf Fuller out of the game. They need uh, they need a deep threat to uh, to unlock um, some of the stuff underneath and make Julian Edelman even more effective. Um, it could be Nikhil Harry, it could be Mohamed Sanu, it could be Philip Dorsett, it could be um, Jacoby Myers, like I was saying before. They need these guys to step up. They have four weeks to figure it out. We know historically the New England Patriots are very good. Let me say this: I have a rule in betting: never bet against Bill Belichick. I'm not going to do it this week, although my pick is Kansas City. I'm taking it off my board, and Brad and my computers both like New England, so there you go. Uh, Fantasy-wise, uh, Kansas City, I think you, uh, even though I have Mahomes projected as a, a sit, uh, thanks to this crazy dominant New England defense, I think you start Mahomes. Uh, it's the playoffs. You can't lose a game. Um, sitting Mahomes, man. You just can't do it. Uh, so, yeah, start Mahomes. I like Tyreek Hill, even though I don't love the matchup. Um, and I like Travis Kelsey to be kind of the primary difference maker uh, in this game. If New England can bottle up Kelsey, I think they're going to have a tough time winning this game. But I think that Kelsey can win this matchup. For New England, uh, Tom Brady, I think, is a start. I like both running backs, like I was saying before. Michelle and White, with White being the more likely to score a touchdown. I like Julian Edelman. I don't like anybody else. Somebody has to step up for step up for. New England. We'll talk about it as we get into our game plan video, our deep dive on this game later in the week. Uh